All right, it is UTR time of the show, and we've got a big one for you because it's Rafa Nadal. Uh, I think he has the, the the highest UTR that, that they've ever had. UTR puts together competition score. And we also have, this is great, the clay UTR. So it's based on the last 12 months just on that surface. So we're breaking down Rafa Nadal and Demir Zumer. Obviously, Rafa now number two in the world. Zumer at 31. Take a look at their UTRs. And then their clay UTRs. And Rafa at 16.42. I haven't seen a number that, greater than that. That is a, Well, I haven't seen that big a discrepancy either. I mean, it's, it's hard to know, but sometimes we're looking into the hundreds or the tens yeah, yeah. for a difference. But over a point, that is huge. And the highest you can get is 16.5. Right. So what is it, the one loss <laughs> like that's to right. Dominic Deem, and that's it. I mean, Perfect, almost. So uh, there's no chance for Zoomer tomorrow, is there? It's going to be a very <laughs> tough out. <laughs> we don't want to give away the outcome, but yeah, he's going to exactly. have to play extremely well. Rafa is going to be ready to go. I mean, the UTR speaks for itself, 16.42. Really looking forward to that. And as we enter the social net, we focus on Rafa as well, because he's going to be the official starter for the 24 hours of Le Mans. Uh, if you're not a, a fan of the racing, this is always an interesting thing. Once a year, they go for a complete day. They actually change the drivers throughout uh, the day, each of these teams. And Rafa's going to be the official starter. That's pretty exciting. You know, Rafa does a good job of doing some things off the court that kind of takes his mind away from the game of tennis. Loves fast cars. Also loves to fish a lot. Mm. So that should be exciting for Rafa. Andy Murray likes to fish, and, and maybe he's doing that right now. It's his birthday. Celebrate however you want. Happy birthday to Andy Murray turning 31 years of age. All the guys in the big four, 30 plus. And everyone looking forward to his return, hopefully on the grass season. We've heard maybe a little delay, a little hiccup in the rehab, but we're all crossing our fingers. We see him back on court soon. I wonder if he'll be at the uh, royal wedding this weekend, Sir Andy Murray. Perhaps. You're on the guest list, aren't yeah. you, Steve? We're going totally. to yeah. see you this weekend. I'm, I'm heading off to the castle. Uh, big four at the same age as Sasha Zverev. Take a look at these numbers. Nadal had three slams and nine Masters 1000 titles as Zverev with three Masters 1000s right now. And I think that puts it in such great perspective for Sasha Zverev. There's so much pressure on him. And then if you compare, Roger did not have a Grand Slam title yet and was only ranked 13. And only had one Masters 1000 event. So we talk so much about Zverev, how far he's come at such a young age. And I think there's great things to happen further this year and especially throughout his career. All right, so the Grand Slam's going to happen. I, when are you going to do this? I don't know when, but it's going to happen. Yeah. Can it be at the French? Three out of five sets, Rafa Nadal this year. That sounds tough. Yeah, it is always going to be a challenge against Rafa, but, I mean, Sasha is very comfortable on clay, wins Madrid, wins Rome last year. I mean, if anyone can do it, we say it's either going to be team or Zverev. I mean, so much right now depends on Rafa. And his level, you have to assume he's going to be at 100% the overwhelming favorite. But if there is a hiccup, look to Sasha Zverev to maybe pick up the slack there. Well, I think the thing that's important is he's getting not only older, but he's getting stronger. He talked how much he's worked on the physicality. The game is a very physical game. Last summer when he played so well, winning Washington, Montreal, lost early and since we thought that helped him. But eventually at the U.S. Open, he looked fatigued. So now I think he's built more. He won Munich. He won Madrid. Let's see how he does in Rome. But I think his body will be ready to go for two weeks in a slam. So that gives him a chance at the French. And he's been serving so well. First player ever when he won that title in Madrid to win a title on clay without being broken the entire tournament since it like stats break have... point against Leonardo Meyer. Just one. <laughs> That's insane. And he has all the tools. It's gonna it's gonna happen for Sasha Zverev at the majors sometime soon. Uh, they have called play. It's all over for today, right now, between Chilich and Harrison. These are the highlights from earlier today. They will start third on tomorrow on Court Central. This was actually a very high quality match from both players. Chilich had some opportunities early. I had loved 40 at 3 all, loved 30 at 4 all, but Ryan Harrison served extremely well. And Chilich got up 3 love early in this breaker, but Harrison, something I think he's improved so much is his composure. He hung in there, got all the way back to 3 all, and then the skies opened up. That's a tough spot for <laughs> so when you come back tomorrow, I mean, what do you think at first point? You're in a tie break three all. You've got to try and get your feet going and that adrenaline going ASAP. There is no time to kind of find your way into the match. I mean, the forecast was bad all day. Mm. So at one one side, we're pretty lucky that it didn't rain until that time. Um, only match that didn't finish. More rain forecasted tomorrow. But the best thing to do when you have to finish a match, warm up a little bit closer to when you're going to take the court and just do everything you can to be ready to go the very first point.
Clutch stuff. We'll have it for you tomorrow right here on Tennis Channel. Here are the other matches that we have featured tomorrow. Dominic Team, Fabio Fonini, Rafa's in action. How about Novak Djokovic against Basilashvili? Joker's still trying to find his top form. And Juan Martin Del Potro will take on the teenager Stefanos Tsitsipas. Meantime on Tennis Channel Plus. Get your TC Plus. Go to buytcplus.com. John Isner, Stevie Johnson, the two Americans in action. And then Gregor Dimitrov, Kane Shikori. Who do you have in that one, Linz? Hmm. I don't know. Kane's been playing pretty well so this clay court season. I'll go with Nishikori. All right. You would Nolte, I'm going with Nishikori. Okay, yes. Two for K. <laughs> <laughs> two for two for Nishikori. All right. For Nolte, for Lindsay, I'm Steve. Thanks so much for staying with us today on this wet and wild edition of Tennis Channel Live. We will see you back here tomorrow morning, 6 o'clock Eastern. Much more from Rome.